for me, what makes this beat very special is that we're the first beat on the system. We're getting tide pushing twice a day. We're seeing silver fish on a regular basis. We're getting sea lacers in the last week in October. You know, every fish that is traveling up the Folston Teeth system has to go through this beat. And we're getting fair crack at them. You know, it really is a special place to fish. The beat itself sits in the footprint of Stirling Castle, right in the heart of Scotland, and has excellent links by road. Coming off at junction 10 on the M9, you can beat the beat within five minutes. The Stirling Castle beat on the River Forth is approximately four miles of double bank fishing. Predominantly, only two miles of this is fished. From the confluence of the Forth and Teeth, near Dobby's Garden Centre, downstream to a pool known as the Ford, just north of the Rat Block, near Forth Valley College. Above this, we have pools known as the Piers, North Bend, Mouth of the Allen, and the Stabs. All these pools are predominantly fished by means of spinning. Higher up the beat, we have pools known as the Tree Line and the Bed Shot, two fantastic pools that offer great fly fishing sport. The Tree Line, for instance, is a pool that we fish from an island on the right hand bank, an excellent fly pool that produces a lot of fish during September and October. The bed shot is a lovely pool to fish and it can be chosen to fish from the left hand bank or the right hand bank. Throughout the bed shot there's a series of streams that you can pick and choose which one you would like to fish. Predominantly the middle stream is the one which catches the most fish. The fast water is a favourite of the grouse. A pool that is it's fairly shallow but very fast and streamy water. It's a favourite of mine with a single hander and fishing with small flies during the months of July and August. The trap is it's a great pool to fish, it's fished from the left hand bank. The fish are visual, you see them coming in and going through the pool as it's quite shallow and it's a pool that can be fished by either spinning or fly fishing. The fish migrate through this and up into a pool known as the high bank. This pool can only be fished off the left hand bank looking downstream. This is predominantly fished by means of spinning, although there is a few fish caught through the year on the fly. Above the high bank we have what we call as the honey pot, the Dykes Pool, the most productive pool on the whole of our system. In 2010, we had 60 fish caught in one day between there and the trap. We know this pool as a honey pot, the Dykes Pool, as it's a pool where we see the majority of the fish. The fish come in through deeper water and it's shallow water, and as they make the migration, we see them heading and tailing, get rid of sea lice on the way upstream. As you come up from the Dykes Pool, you'll see the disabled platform on the right hand bank. Upstream of this is a pool as we know as the bridge pool. This is where the anglers get access to fish off the left hand side. Upstream of the M9 motorway bridge, we have a pool known as the motorway bends. This is predominantly fished from the left hand bank looking downstream. A favorite method in this pool is using the Devon minnow during the months of September and October. Upstream of this on the left hand bank, we have one of our most famous pools called the rocks. The Rocks is our most productive high water pool. If you check online on the SEPA website, on the river level data, on the Craig Force station, any river level above 0 0.7 of a metre, the Rocks is the place to be. The Rocks is predominantly fished by fly from the left hand bank. It is a bit of a tricky way, so we advise that you wear a life jacket when fishing in this location. Directly across from the Rocks, we have a pool known as the Green Banks, an excellent fly pool, which is just downstream of the confluence of the Force and Teeth which is the boundary of our beat. We march above with the blue banks. Turning off at the Vosa vehicle checkpoint, the Anglers car park is situated at the end of that road. You can park here, cross over the river, over the footbridge, and you can be fishing anywhere on the left bank fishing the most productive pools. The access for the green banks and the confluence of the Force and Teeth is just off of A84 and the Anglers car park just south of Dobby's garden centre. The fishing season on the River Forth extends from the 1st of February through to the 31st of October, giving anglers the opportunity to fish for nine months of the season. We generally see our first fish caught on the River Forth during the month of April. The catches then progressively get better right through the season. Prime time on the River Forth is from midsummer through to the end of October, where we still see sea lacers caught during the last week of the season. If you are a fly fisher, a 14 foot rod a shooting head and a range of tips will cover all conditions on the River Force throughout the season. 
If I was coming to fish this beat myself, I would target my timing specifically to the tides. Two hours in front, two hours after, and during these periods you're likely to see fish splashing about, which is always encouraging. If you are fly fishing, make sure you have some flies in your box that are orange and yellow. You know, that's a favourite colour throughout the year here on the River Forth. And in October, the Red Francis is a favourite, and we have in the last few years seen sea lacers caught in the last week of the season using this pattern. What's also great about this beat is it offers some fantastic sea trout fishing. Our most productive sea trout pool is the Dykes Pool. To catch sea trout here, you'll need a single-handed rod, floating line, and intermediate tips. With needle tubes through the spring months, and going into June and July, the smaller doubles are the ones to use. Here at Stirling Council, we offer fishing for everyone. We have fishing available throughout the year, whether it be fly fishing or spinning. What we're very lucky with here is that regardless of the conditions here on the 4th, you can fish above the M9 motorway bridge, high water, fish the rocks, fish the green banks or motorway bend, low water during the summer, fish the tides at the trap or the bed shot or again up at the dykes pool. You know, we're very lucky we can offer fishing for the whole year in many range of conditions.